Morning folks. <coughs> so let's move that over there a little bit. Right, we've got cadmium red, probably won't use that. Uh, ultramarine, uh, Payne's grey, cadmium yellow pale and yellow ochre. I want to do a, a Heathland picture based on a painting by, on a watercolour by uh, the late great uh, Edward Wesson, Ted Wesson, who I did meet doing a demonstration for the art club I belonged to for many years. Uh, Self-taught artist, the great, great demonstrator. So this, this a bit, I've just drawn this out roughly. It seems a bit of a waste of time drawing them out um, because they're going to be covered with oil paint. This is on a painting that uh, I didn't really like, so I wiped it all off, and it's been drying for a couple of days, for three days. So it's it's dry now. So it's got this uh, olivey green tinge to it. So let's just start with the sky. Get my lovely new brush, which I've put down. I don't know where it is. Oh, it is. Uh, lovely. Fourteen pounds that one. <coughs> okay, so a bit of bit of linseed oil, a bit of Payne's grey, and a bit of bit of white, such of ochre, a bit, a bit darker. Oh, we'll just get rid of that horrible colour underneath. I do, I like um, grey skies with plenty of light in. Such a yellow ochre, plenty of white, but just just that nice the paint's grey with a bit of white and a bit of yellow ochre. Now we want to get some light on there now, so I just wipe my brush, uh, just get some white. Touch of ochre in this. Oh, it's got a little bit darker with this in here. Okay, that'll do. Now we'll put in some, some greeny colours now. Oh, green, we're just, well, we want some dark greens and we want some light greens. Oh, let's get some good dark green here.
Could have put some blue in that background. Pine Spray is a, a lovely mix. Oh, I'll put a bit of bit of distance in that. <coughs> so I'll put a bit of, bit of uh, slightly blue in the grey. Right, put in a bit of a light here and there. That's just a bit too even there, so let's just get a bit of dark on there. Okay, now with a good foreground in. Now it's a sort of a grey green we want now. Let's mix all that together. Sort of a bit of a path in there, so more Payne's grey. I got a bit of light, light in there. I think that's a bit heavy, let's just take it off. Oh, well, good light now, make a pathway through.
Yeah, this is light, light green. Right now we've got to do some some uh, filigree in here, so I've got my rigger. Um, I just want a bit of this uh, white spirit, just a thin a bit of paint, so only a touch. But Right now I'm going to what I'm going to do very dark green here. So that takes the paint off. I've got to do a bit of clever dry brushing in this. Uh, now, <coughs> now that's going to be a bit, a little bit tricky. Uh, I want a, f a flat. I Oh, this one, this is a worn out Chinese brush, look, all the ferrule is all broken up. <coughs> so, Right, okay, well that's, a, that's it. Uh, Okay, well that'll do. We'll put that in a frame and uh, have a look at it. Let's get my brushes that I've used to one side so that I. Oh, I think it was MBT. I just made all that. Just going to put a couple of pins in the back of this, uh, in this picture. Oh, here we are. We've got a nice little sketch. Uh, Oh, 
I <coughs> like a cold day on the heath. So I hope you like that one. It's uh, very sketchy. It is a. Uh, I've lent on Abel Wesson for one of his uh, lovely views, but it, this is an oil painting of a watercolour. So, uh, so I hope you like it. Makes things look easy, which it is. But I think try to let go of of uh, detail and, and breaking away from copying uh, and doing an impressionist sort of thing. Well, that's that's my my idea anyway. That's where where my brain is at the moment. I've had enough of uh, in the past for of, of doing uh, tight paintings. Right, okay, I'll, I'll get this uploaded for you and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.